Michael Bodner here with another Tesla Tunity. Picture this, it's Monday morning, you've overslept, you've got an important meeting first thing in the morning at work, you've got to get the kids to school, you go to get in your car, turn it on, and what are you met with? A gaslight. Talk about range anxiety. Well, with an electric car and home charging, you never have that problem again. Whether you're on a road trip or home charging just isn't possible, I'd like to take you on a tour of all the different charging options out there. All right, so you're gonna take your Tesla on a road trip and you're gonna need the best and fastest way to charge to have a good trip. So what are we gonna do? Tap on the screen, tap on the lightning bolt, and it's gonna show me all of the superchargers that are nearby. So let's take the one that we're near right now. We'll zoom in on it. First thing you'll notice if I tap on it, it'll give me details about that supercharger. You can see three of eight stalls available, 120 kilowatt max, and a couple things to know here. Obviously, three of eight stalls available is not going to tell me two things. One, if somebody's parked in the stall and not charging, and two, if one of the stalls is down for whatever reason. So let's go ahead and navigate to the supercharger and check it out. That's it, we've made it to a supercharger. Let's go ahead and test this thing out. All right, so here we are at the supercharger. One thing to know about these guys is you usually wanna be pretty close. Go ahead and lift up and release. You can see it just makes it to my car. Push in, insert the charger, the light goes green and we are charging. All right, watch those kilowatts climb. Here we go. There really is no better way to charge your Model 3, Model S, or Model X quickly uh, while traveling. I mean, check that out. We're at 165 miles remaining on range. It's gonna take me 30 minutes to top this thing off. And uh, I've got the car set to a charge limit of about 270 miles of range. So that is really impressive. I mean, look at the miles per hour we're gaining right now. Upwards of 340 miles per hour of range. So again, if you've got a Model S or a Model X, you likely have free unlimited supercharging. If you're sitting in a Model 3 like I am, you're gonna pay for it. You can see down at the bottom right, it is uh, in real time showing me the uh, cost for charging here. Pretty small, but uh, there is a cost. And if you're thinking about getting a Model S or a Model X, uh, look at the uh, description below. I'll go ahead and include my referral code. That'll uh, get you lifetime free unlimited supercharging on your Model S or Model X. All right, so here we are at the Plantation Florida Supercharger. You can see we've got a row of Model S's, one open spot, and there's the Model 3 in the middle. This thing is charging like a beast right now. All right, here we are coming up close to my uh, set charge limit on the Model 3. So we'll go ahead and stop charging there. And that's it, not bad. You can see just under $4, we picked up 77 miles of charge here, just squeaked in at the end. Not too bad at all. All right, so we're gonna tap the button on the charger. Release. Put it back in, we're all set. All right, here's our urban supercharger. Lift it out here. Connect it. T turns green. We are good to go. As you can see, a pretty great setup here at Aventura Mall. Tons and tons and tons of urban supercharger spots. Whole row of them here as well. All right, after a few minutes here of supercharging, we seem to have topped out. It is steadily increasing still. We're at 64 kilowatts, 257 miles an hour of range and of charging. All right, when we've gotten enough charge uh, for our trip here, we're gonna tap the button and release the handle. All right. 
right. And uh, we'll go ahead and put it right back. And there we are. You can see the uh, charge port door automatically retracts itself and we're ready to keep going. All right, well, sometimes a supercharger is not feasible. Maybe there isn't a charge point around. So there is another option yet. Tap on the map. Uh, we'll go back to the lightning bolt. And again, come down here, destination chargers, as I mentioned before, usually well located at malls, restaurants, hotels. So we'll say the Galleria Mall here in Fort Lauderdale. Now, one of the beauties of a destination charger, uh, especially for the Model 3 owners, is that they're gonna be free. Now, I'll say that with one caveat, it might be valet parking only, so you can't get to it. Uh, it might be in a paid parking lot, but the charging itself is free. So uh, you can certainly take advantage of that. Uh, I love it here at this mall. Uh, in particular, we you go out for a nice dinner, come back and pick up some range while your car is parked in the mall. Here we are at the destination charger. We'll go ahead and walk right up to it. Well, well labeled here with the sign. Uh, to get it out, we're just gonna lift up and release. And now we're just gonna push in on the car. You can see the port opens up and we're gonna push it right in. It goes green and we'll see how we charge here. All right, now after a few minutes of destination charging, we seem to have topped out at about 34 miles an hour of range, charging at 48 amps. To be honest, I expected a little bit more, um, and I believe I've seen a little bit more charging here, but that's all we're getting right now. Still though, you know, go into the mall, go to dinner, you're there for two or three hours, and you could easily pick up anywhere from uh, 60 to 100 miles of range, more than enough to cover your typical daily commute. And um, again, it's free charging, so uh, top off the car and uh, be on your way. All right, now when we're done destination charging with the doors unlocked, we'll be able to walk up to the car, press the button and release the handle. You've got to do it quick, otherwise it'll catch and start charging again. So we'll press it, hit the white light and release. Again, just as we've done before to dock it, go ahead and push it back in and then push down and you are done. All right, so we just wrapped up destination charging. Now, let's say you're traveling and there are no superchargers. There are no destination chargers. There are no charge points. What are you gonna do? You have another option. On your mobile phone, open up the PlugShare app and uh, you could see, this is gonna show you crowdsourced information about where chargers are. It'll tell you the superchargers, it'll tell you the charge points, but check this out. We'll go ahead and tap the gallery of mall. I'll tap on the information. And you can see here as I scroll down, it's telling me that there's Tesla plugs and there's also a J1772. Now I go in for more information. It says non-networked. So what does that mean? That means this mall is offering free electricity for all electric vehicles. Obviously as a Tesla owner, if there are Tesla spots, please take those. Uh, but if there are not, go ahead and use the available electric vehicle charging with your adapter. So we're gonna go ahead and showcase that right now. All right, it just so happens this uh, public charging is literally just two spots over. So we're gonna go ahead and pull out of our current spot. Backing in for the Clipper Creek. Again, free electricity offered by the mall. So let's go check it out and see how this all works. All right, here we are at free public charging for an electric vehicle. You can see we've got a Clipper Creek. Nothing locking this in, no access card to use. It's uh, another J1772. To connect it, line everything up. Snaps into place. Come back over to the car. And that's it, we're charging. See the unit on the wall is now lit up and it says we are charging. Let's see how the car does with this. All right, well after a few minutes here with the Clipper Creek charger, uh, we seem to have topped out at about 21 miles an hour of range. You can see we've added six miles. A second ago that said seven. So I'm guessing sitting in the car with the AC on, there we go back up to seven, is having an effect on it. But uh, 
Again, not too fast, but not too bad for free electricity. Here we are at the mall if we're having dinner, lunch, shopping, going to the movie. A good two to three hours and you're going to pick up anywhere from 40 to 60 miles of range and should do even better if you're not sitting in the car using the air conditioning. So uh, not too bad for free electricity. All right, again, the, the Clipper Creek is not a Tesla charger, so to stop charging, let's go ahead and tap stop charging on the screen. That went ahead and unlocked the charge port. There we go. And uh, we're all set. Let's go ahead and dock this back in right where we found it. And don't forget to take your adapter with you, but uh, this just goes right in there. It's like it clicks into place. And uh, we are all set. Thanks for the free juice. All right, so let's say we're out and we're not near a supercharger, we're not near a destination charger, but we still, we need some juice to make it to wherever we're going. Uh, that's all right. Try the Charge Point app. It'll look something like this. You can see uh, if I zoom out a little bit, there, there are a lot of charging options available to us EV owners. So let's go ahead and uh, tap the arrow there. That'll zoom us into a rat. You can see I'm at the mall here. It looks like there's four chargers as I zoom in further. They're uh, just ahead, so I'll tap on the first one there. You can see it says new garage station one, charge point available. It'll cost a little bit of money, and uh, we'll tap on it. It's a second level of new garage. Now, one thing I noticed um, is that there is no garage where the app is saying. So in that case, friendly community, go ahead and read. So if we scroll down a little bit more, you can see the station is located on the second floor of the new parking lot next to the restaurants, Tap 42, Tesla store, and Slide. It's not located where the map indicates. And further down, we could see uh, second floor of the new garage near Macy's and the Tesla store, and somebody says it's slow. Uh, so we've got a lot of feedback here. You can see it's $5.15 for about two hours. And uh, let's go ahead and find this charger. We are at the charge point they're gonna look something like this and uh, you get a card with it but you also get the app and the app is great double tap to confirm face ID and there you go you can see we've unlocked the uh, charge point our card is now authorizing we heard it release all right now port one is available so first step uh, looks something like this. You're going to need to use your adapter, which looks something like this. Connect your adapter and you are going to be ready to charge. Go back to our trusty Tesla app, open charge port, and there you go. Now, just as we did at the supercharger, plug it right in. Light turns green and we are charging. All right, so as you can see, the charge point spots are pretty well identified. Electric vehicle parking only, nice signage. Hopefully they don't get blocked. Uh, hopefully they all have as good uh, signage and markings as this. But as you can see, here we are charging. We're nicely covered in a parking garage. Mall entrance access over there, over there. Really uh, just a perfect spot. We can walk up to the screen and get the details. Uh, showing us that we're in use and let's go check on the car all right certainly not as fast as a supercharger you can see uh, we're at 30 amps charging 20 miles per hour of range but imagine going into the mall going out for dinner spend uh, two hours or so there and you pick up a nice 40 miles of range at a pretty low cost so to stop the charging charging stopped and uh, you can see everything is now cut off. We'll go back out to the car and uh, remove the cable. All right, here we are outside the car. The light is blue. That easy to remove. And on these, you're gonna push down here and that will allow you to remove your charging adapter. When you're done, go ahead and dock the charger back in. Hopefully leaving it just in the same condition you found it for the person before you. And uh, we'll go ahead and tap done on the screen. And that's it, that's a charge point. 
here we are now pulling back up to my house definitely my favorite place to charge what could be better than charging in your own home and waking up every morning with a full charge well that's it for our charging video i hope you enjoyed um, i hope you found this to be useful and uh, again i'll list all the details out in the description below my referral code uh, some details on supercharging destination charging charge points and other free public charging i hope you guys enjoyed thank you very much for taking this drive with me